Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to go on a makeup course today and this is the look I've put on myself to look presentable for it. So if you want to know how I achieve this look, then continue watching this video. So first of all, I apologise for the absolute state I'm in. I've just put fake tan on last night and as you know, my skin always turns out a complete mess when I put it on. So that's why I always put makeup on when I have fake tan on because like as you can see the blackheads on my skin are clearly showing so obviously I'm gonna have to cover that up because that looks absolutely horrible. So I'm gonna first of all use the Too Faced Hangover Primer. As you all know I absolutely love this one and I, I just hate to use it all up because it's so good. Mind you, I could always buy another one. So, just put it in like that. I don't think I'm in that much of a rush as I was yesterday for the flight here because right now I'm in Inverness and I'm going to do my first makeup course. So I'm pretty excited for that. We go about like 9.25 I think, so I have an hour and a half. And hopefully none, none of it, this goes wrong. It usually um, goes wrong when I've got my pale skin. Well, that doesn't even make sense. When I'm not wearing fake tan, it always goes wrong. But anyway, that's the primer all done. Now we're going to go into the foundation. Okay, I have just noticed the patches on my chest. So I'm going to redo my tan and I'll be right back. Oh, I, sh I just can't wait to get my makeup over and done with because I look absolutely horrible. But anyway, we're going to go into foundation and I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape uh, foundation in the shade Medium Tan Honey. This is what I always use when I've got fake tan on. And this foundation is absolutely amazing. I had to get in two colours. So, yeah, as I was saying, I think I'm not going to be in much of a rush as I was yesterday because when I was like getting ready yesterday, everything went wrong. My... Contour went all over my cheek and it just went really wrong from there, you know? But like, it, it mine turned out like a total cake yesterday and when I say cake, I mean it went absolutely awful. So hopefully today will be different. It usually is when I've got fake tan on because it's not, there's less problems when I'm wearing fake tan. And I also think that wearing fake tan is better for when you're about to do your makeup because as you can see my face is fully covered by foundation and it's more noticeable when you've got fake tan on because when I'm like I've got no fake tan on and like, I've got my pale skin and everything and then I put my foundation on I don't really see whether I've got full coverage or not so that's good and I'm going to use the Revolution Conceal and Defy one in C8 and as you know, I have the C1 as well. This is honestly so good. I would I would compare this to the shape tape like a lot of people do. So just some under here, a bit for the nose as well, because of those stupid blackheads. It's honestly so early today. It's like eight o'clock. I woke up at like 7.30 just to get ready because we're just like going at 9.25, you know? Oh, it's so early, but when it comes to me and looking presentable, I just want to look as presentable as I can possibly be. Like, yeah, you know what I mean? I look like a completely different person. And my beauty blender just got foundation on the table. I really hope I can clean that up because if not, the hotel would kill us. But anyway, we are going to set the foundation and concealer with the... MAC Prep and Prime setting powder, which I always use. I dropped my concealer there. So that, that was what that was. But what we're going to do is, I'm almost out of this powder now, I use it so much. Yeah, I'm just going to get some powder. And then just set the whole thing. it when it falls everywhere but 
there's like no colour or anything, so that's the best thing about it, even when you've got like fake tan on like me, you, you cannot see a thing. Right, so now it's time for me to do my brows, and what I'm going to use is the is a brow pencil called Precisely My Brow Pencil, and it's by Benefit. I'm just going to use this to line my brows, because I've recently started lining my brows before actually putting the brow cream on it. Which is, this is like beneficial because it prevents making mistakes, so that's what I do. And then I use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Dark Brown, which you all know I always use. So I'm going to do my brows off camera and then I'll be right back. Right, so that's my brows done. And I forgot to say that after I do my brows, I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. Where's it gone? There it is. It just gives the brows a bit more definition and I like using it but anyway we're gonna go into eyeshadow and I'm gonna this is also a first impression I've mentioned the that I've got the like a boss palette by Violet Boss but I haven't tried out yet so this is kind of like a first impression video as well as a GRWM so the one that I'm gonna use first of all is what will I use Women Cross Wednesday over here I might use this as a transition shade since I've got fake tan on. Can you do that? I don't know. I hope you can. It looks like it's working well anyway. Right, that shade's done. So the next one I shall go on is Boss over here. Right, that one's over with as well and I'm gonna go in with the shade Snatched these these Violet Boss eyeshadow palettes they're so blendable like I love that I love all their palettes that I have I would get more because the, the shadows are like so blendable and as well as the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow brush that I always use I would highly recommend them all to you. Just notice one side of my nose was unblended, but that's okay, because I've sorted it out now. Now I'm going to use the Stila Liquid Eyeshadow in Kitten Karma. You've seen me use this before in another video, and I've used this on a few of my friends before. It's honestly amazing. Right, I did a couple of... <coughs> Right, I did a couple of things off camera. I did my under eye eyeshadow with the boss colour which I used earlier on. And I also did my inner corner with the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Amreezy highlighter. So now I'm just going to put some lashes on and mascara with the... Where's it gone? Tarte 4 and one lashes. And this is just from Eyelure. I got it yesterday because I forgot to bring lashes with me. But... I'm just going to do that off camera and then I'll be right back again. Right, so I've just put the lashes on and my mascara. And I think it looks absolutely amazing. But anyway, I'm just going to go into lipstick first of all. Well, it's not first actually. But I'm going to go into lipstick. And I'm going to use this the Jeffree Star Valentine's Vault. With like eight lipsticks in it and eight mini ones. And today I'm going to use the shade Unicorn Blood, which I've never used before. So again, this is another first impression sort of thing. Right, this is my lipstick done. And I didn't even get a chance to do it on camera because Kate and Mum were in the way. So, and they didn't want themselves on here. What are you doing? But anyway, I'm going to go to contour now. I keep dropping everything. I'm going to go into contour and I'm going to use the Too Faced Coco Contour and I might use the, what's it called? I might either use the Medium Coco or the Dark Coco, I don't know if the Medium Coco might be too light. Well, that went really well, didn't it? Yeah, so I used the dark cocoa from my cocoa contour palette. 
But now I'm going to go into blush using the Too Faced Peach Blush, which I always use. And I'm just going to, hopefully this isn't too light for fake tan. Just going to simply apply it. Right, so my blush is done, and I'm going to go into highlighter, and I'm going to use the MAC Mirai Skin Finish Highlighter in the shade Soft and Gentle. I'm just getting my highlight brush. This one and the Anastasia and the Amnesia highlighter look the exact same. So that's that highlighter done and would you look at that glow I love it but we're gonna go into setting spray now with the Open at London prep set glow oh <laughs> fell off the stick there so this is the finished look um I got dressed I did a like glowy body oil well, no I actually didn't use a body oil I used the iconic London Illuminator and original and just put it on my shoulder and collarbone just to give me a nice glow and I also curled my hair a little bit and we are just going to go on our way to the course and I'll let you know how I get on later on so I'm just really excited so I'll see you in the next video hope you enjoyed bye